Hi everyone, and welcome to our very special August edition of Crafty Readers. This month, in case you didn't know, is Book Week, happening between the 20th and the 26th of August. Book Week is run by the CBCA. They will be announcing the winners of the Book of the Year Prize on Friday the 19th. I've got some of them here with me today. Um, the theme of Book Week this year is Dreaming With Your Eyes Open. So for our craft this month, we are making a dream catcher. This is the kit that you will pick up from the library. Inside your kit, you will, as always, find an instruction sheet that has some of the books that are on the CBCA list, as well as all of the instructions to make your dream catcher. You will also get a paper plate, three feathers, one, two, three, which will be hanging on the bottom of your dream catcher. You will have one, not one, but three pieces of string, which you will use to thread around. And you will also have three beads that you can pop onto the end of your dream catcher. So, first step is to cut out the middle part of your paper plate. So on a paper plate, you can see that there is this inside part and then it begins to turn upwards. We're just gonna cut out that inside part so we've got space to punch our holes through later. You can fold your plate in half, that's fine as long as you're not bending it too much. You can put this away once you're done with it. So, once you have cut out your middle, you need to punch three holes close together on the bottom. This is where your feathers and your beads will hang from. If you don't have a hole puncher like me, that's totally fine. You can use a really sharp pencil or a pen, that's fine too. And once you have punched three holes close together, you're going to punch a fair few, however many you would like, along the top part of the dream catcher as well. So you can see that I have punched one, two, three, four, five, six holes, as well as my three along the bottom. Now, you can pause here and decorate the outside of your plate however you would like. Mine back here, I try to sort of make look like the sun, but you can decorate it however you would like. You can use textures like I've got here, but you can also use paint or glitter glue or crayons or whatever you've got lying around at home. But once you have finished decorating your plate, you will grab one of your pieces of string and just cut off a little extra bit as this is going to be your loop that you're going to pop at the top of your plate and we'll punch a hole for that later. Put this aside, hold on to it, don't lose it. So you will then take each piece of string, attach it to a different hole along the top Thread that string across and then feed it down through one of the bottom close three holes together. Once you have threaded everything through, you can cut off the little extra bits of string on the end, and then you can grab your beads, or you can grab your feathers, or you can grab both, thread them onto the ends of your paper plate, and they will hang off just like they do on that one. You 
you might need to pull the ends off your feathers a little bit just to give your string a little bit more of a spot to grip on and that's totally fine. And for your last step, like I mentioned at the start, you're gonna take your hole punch, punch another hole up top, and thread through your last bit of string. You'll tie it up the top, and this is what you can use to hang your dream catcher. and there you have it so once you've completed your dream catcher don't forget that during book week you can also dress up as your favorite book character so please if you are coming into the library be ready to show your to show the librarians your costumes will be dressed up we hope that you're dressed up and we hope to see you in the library during book week and that you enjoy the craft see ya